Yo, yo, what is up? So, um, Merry Christmas to everyone. I'm just kidding. No, that was like tomorrow, but, um, in this video, um, basically, uh, yeah, um, shit, I fucking woke up just now, and I recently just found out that Jordan Clarkson from the Cowboys got a trade to Utah for Dante Exum, man. In my opinion about Jordan Clarkson, dude, I think people are sleeping in the sky the fact that not only Jordan Clarkson, um, yeah, he takes bad shots once in a while in moon time, he's inconsistent, but... This is like one of the best bench players you want to have when he comes off the bench. Like Jordan Clarkson, dude, like this guy can average like 20, 30 off the bench. When he's feeling like he's hot, he can keep going until someone has to lock him really, really tight. And Jordan Clark is like one of the best bench players like Jamal, Lou Williams. Like he's up there with them, you know, but he's just a younger version of them. JC, like I said, um, he doesn't have player experience, but he is a good bench player to have in your team because he provides scoring, defense, and shooting and everything. But his main problem is that Jordan Clarkson, dude, plays a lot of isolation. He cares about himself, and he does once in a while takes bad shot. But that's JC, you know. Jordan Clarkson, he is a really good weapon to have in your team. And I'm surprised why the Lakers they didn't make that trade for Jordan Clarkson. Like, honestly, like, in my opinion, I would trade Caruso for JC, in my opinion, though. Just because Caruso, I like that dude. Guy plays really hard. He wants to win. But let's be honest, though. Alex Caruso doesn't have the shot. The offensive wise, like Jordan Clarkson, you know, like, have you ever seen Alex Cruz putting up 20, 30 points consistently, like JC? Not necessary, though, but I guess that's the Lakers, you know. I guess the Lakers, they don't want to bring back those um players that they used to have a long time ago. Like, they could have got D'Angelo Russell, but they dodged that one. They had a chance with JC, but they don't want Jordan Clarkson. Now, I've been hearing rumors that. They're trying to make a pack deal for Drew Holiday, and they're still trying to fight for RMG Iguodala, which I'm still happy for it, but still. I just think, in my opinion, the Lakers, they still dodged the pole at that. They should have got Jordan Clarkson, because just imagine if they got Jordan Clarkson back, dude. He definitely would have helped the Lakers bench a lot, because look look what happened against the Milwaukee Bucks, though. The Lakers bench didn't show up against the Nuggets that wanted to go in uniform. The Lakers bench didn't show up either. Now, just imagine we have JC, dude. Jordan Clarkson would have averaged, like, what, a double-double off the bench, though, in my opinion. But that's just the Lakers, you know. I guess they don't want to bring back their old players just like how they used to. But in just my opinion, dude, I think the Lakers should have got Jordan Clarkson back. But as for the Cavaliers getting Dante Exum, um, Dante Exum, dude, is actually a little smart player. He plays really smart with a good ball IQ. He can shoot. He wants to win. He plays team or basketball. He's a good player to have in your court, in your team, because you do everything what it takes to win. But honestly, I haven't been paying attention on Dante Exum too much, because this guy, you know, he's been with Utah for quite a while, and I don't follow Utah basketball. But all I know is that Dante Exum, I heard he's a really good shooter, good clutcher. He spreads the floor. He plays team basketball. And Jordan Clarks, like I said, he's a really good bench player to have in your team, and I don't know why people are sleeping on this guy, but. In my opinion, I think Utah won straight because they just got themselves a really good tight bench player. But the question is this, that um, can Jordan Clarkson actually show up when the playoff starts? Dante Axum had experience, though, which that's a good part. But JC, that's the thing, if he can show up in the playoffs. Because if he goes to playoffs this year with Utah, this is going to be his first, so just to let you know. Now, the difference between regular and postseason is that regular season, a lot of play people, a lot of teams, they actually sleep off. They don't really try at all. They do all this low management shit, you know, sitting out and shit. But when it comes to playoffs, dude, that's when everyone needs to try hard. Like, you know what? This is the playoffs. We're trying to fucking win. We're trying to win a title. We need to have a shot. So no resting, no excuses, no skipping. But a regular season, as long as like you're in the top eight seed, you can goof off as much as you want to. But in postseason, you can't be goofing because there's a trophy on the line. So, but yeah, so the Cavaliers, um... I don't know why they went after Dante Exum, because honestly, I felt like, why Utah, though? Like, why exchange Dante Exum? Oh, yeah, that's why I heard of Utah offer, like, a couple of draft picks along with Dante Exum. That makes sense, but still. Jordan Clarkson, dude, he's going to be a miss, dude. Like, Jordan Clarkson is one of the cast bench, bench, best bench player to have in your team, man. I'm kind of happy for JC, the fact that he's going to contender team, because if he stays with Cleveland for a long time, I kind of feel bad for that fool, but... Other than that, um, wish you luck to Jordan Clarkson and Utah, congratulations. You got yourself a really good bench player. Cavs, on the other hand, they got a well-experienced player. But just in my opinion, I think the Lakers, you know, they should go after this man. But, you know, Lakers are doing what they were supposed to do. The better player, get Drew or Andre.